Today we're going to be playing We're Not Really Strangers. Oh, I've yeah. never heard of it. Oh, you haven't played this yet? Well, you're in for a treat. So it's pretty simple. I have a bunch of cards here. And we're just going to take turns drawing a card and then answering the questions on the card. Yeah, just reach <laughs> to the screen, grab okay. your card. But uh, since you've never played this before, I'll let you do the honors okay. and pick the first card. So just <laughs> tell me when to stop. Uh, stop. Oh. oh Maintain okay. eye contact for 30 seconds. What did you okay. notice? <laughs> what did you notice? Okay, are we like looking directly at the camera or looking at the screen? What, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you want from us? <laughs> what did you notice? What, what do you what mean by you notice? notice? Okay, so are we looking at each other's eyes or looking at the camera? I feel like we have to look at each other's eyes okay. because then we wouldn't. You know. <laughs> this is great. This is a perfect way okay. to start. This so am, yeah. I put, am I the one doing the timer? Um, I'll, I got it right here. I'll do the timer. <laughs> 30 minutes. 30, <laughs> okay. 30 minutes, you got this? I, I got you. You can take some snack breaks, that's fine. All right, 30 seconds. What does that sound? <laughs> you, have, you know you have to look. Are we allowed to blink? I hope so. I already know what I'm noticing. This is the block. I swear it's been 30 seconds. What is going on? I feel like it's been <laughs> my timer didn't go off, but I swear that was 30 seconds. All right. Okay. What did we notice? I, noticed, I noticed that your eyes are blue. They actually yeah. change colors. Damn, look at yeah. you. With yeah, so I guess they're colors blue at the moment. I noticed <clears throat> that you are a very concentrated person. You took this task very, very seriously. <laughs> I could see in your eyes, you're like. <laughs> I looked like <laughs> I was like, I'm not blinking. He's not messing around. <laughs> Gay game night. Here we go. <laughs> I'll go next. I'll do it random. I'm not looking. Okay. Yeah. If MySpace were still a thing, what would my profile song be? I don't know. I feel like something quirky, but I don't know many quirky songs. Hold up. I'm trying to even think what it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay. I got it. I don't know if I've heard this. What's okay. it? Called? Wait for it. It's girl. Oh. I like that. Right? Yep. Boom. Wait. So what was that song? It was called The Internet? No, the group is called The Internet. And the song is called Girl. Just because, you know, gay. <laughs> it's very on brand i feel like if i were if i were to do more digging i could find something more suit like su suiting 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 suit fitting uh, fitting there we go suitable suitable because like i want something quirky but like quirky, quirky. no because you're quirky quirky yeah quirky quirky <clears throat> oh, it already has a song called fuck my way up that sounds kinky, not quirky. No, <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, that's not the one. Oh, this one. I hear nothing. I just see you jamming out. You know the song. Oh, <laughs> Katy Perry. I couldn't hear it. That is my childhood. That is pre-gay awakening Haley. Music. Oh yes. Oh yes. And I was like, why do I like this so much? And I was like jumping on my head. It makes me feel things. Cherry chapstick. Finger guns, finger guns, finger guns, finger guns. Okay, let's move on. Okay. All right. Reach through the screen and tell me when. I said the other one. Wait, what? Back here? Okay, that, that one. This one? Yeah. This one. Okay. That's the one. What lesson took you the longest to unlearn? Ooh. Should we both answer these questions? Because I'm not sure exactly like who's supposed to be answering what. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one with the game. I'm the one with the game, with the instructions in front of me. But I'm like, you know. <laughs> well, I think, I think we both have to like alternatively answer. I don't know. That's true. Because I used to be like 
very untidy, like mm. very untidy. But then I realized it was only because I was depressed. <laughs> and so <laughs> so I, I just like didn't clean anything ever. Um, but now I'm like so tidy, but like almost too tidy. Like yeah. everything needs to be clean. Everything needs to be stick and span. Everything needs to be like, properly organized and everything like I'm a very like organized person now and very like if there's dust on a surface it will not be there in, a, in five minutes because I used to, you would ask my parents when I used to live with my parents a couple years ago um because I moved out five years ago something like that um and oh my guy my floor was non-existent it was <laughs> not a thing and my parents were like a tornado flew around your room <laughs> like literally a tornado would fly like it was insane like but it was most, mostly like clothing but also I would bring up um like dishes and I would just like leave them in my room oh, and like, yeah. the amount of glasses of water that were in my room like, like half half yes, full yes half full or half empty though that's the real oh. question Oh yeah, true. Well, I guess that in this case they would be half empty because mm. it was initially full and then got drank a little bit. So technically it would be half empty because some of it was in it initially. Half empty on a technicality. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then like someone that didn't know that technicality could be like, oh, it's halfway there. Yeah. Oh, we're halfway there. Whoa. <laughs> we're just bringing back all the classics here oh yeah man okay unlearn <clears throat> unlearn i would say that it took me a while to unlearn that you can't plan out everything in your life exactly you know what i mean because i'm very much like a a planner oh, same. spreadsheets i want to put my whole life same. in a spreadsheet and be like okay oh this is what's going to happen. Okay. Is it plan out my day? Do you have a daily to-do list? Yes. I do too. And I, I have it organized by like urgency, you know? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I have AM, PM yes. and like the little sun in the AM, a little moon in the PM. Oh, like, oh yes. Yep. I have three planners. I have a monthly planner. I have a weekly planner. I have a daily planner. Wow. Yeah. Something so satisfying about like marking things off of a list. Oh, yes. But yeah, I, so I had to unlearn that. I still have my lists, you know, but I've had to learn that there's got to be some flexibility in there. And if things don't work out exactly as you may be planned, that that's okay. And sometimes it's actually better, you yeah. know, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, my girlfriend's the one that's teaching me that because I'm still very much like a planner and she, like working in the film industry, there's never, like, you don't have a set schedule, mm -hmm. like. Sometimes you, your, your call time is at 3 a.m. and you finish at like 11 a.m. And then sometimes it's at 6 a.m. Some, sometimes it's at 11 a.m. So you, you're like kind of like all over the place. And so yeah. she can't have a set schedule. And like when she sees me with all of my like scheduling and whatever, and like um, I book, I would book in our FaceTime calls in my schedule. And she was like, oh, excuse me, pardon. Like I'm booked in like into your schedule. And like, cause I, I plan everything. And she's like, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta just like learn to not book everything and like just go on an, an adventure. And so like, since I've been here, she's been like taking me on like adventures and whatever. And just is like, oh, like let's go on an adventure right now. And I'm like, what my schedule? <laughs> She's like, I don't no, understand. I can yeah. I bring my planner? <laughs> I know. I know. And then like I end up like being really happy that I went because yeah. like I wouldn't have like gone if it wasn't for that. And like, for example, the other day, like she took me to see like the skyline, like the Toronto skyline. Mm. Um, and I was just like, oh, this is so pretty. It took like 30 minutes out of the day, and like I'm not like less organized because of it. So yeah. Yeah, I get that. Whose turn is it? I think it's my turn. Another deep one. All these are kind of deep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. What are you still trying to prove to yourself? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think we should both answer these. Okay. That's okay. Fair. I think that that's how we should do it. You look like you have yours. Yeah. I can see it in your eyes. All right. You go ahead. Well, oh, I really? Yeah. Okay. Um, that I wasn't the bad guy. Mm. Yes. Yeah. That's good.
Mm -hmm. I would say that that I don't have to prove anything to others, mm. you know? Yeah. Yeah, that like I am adequate and enough just as yeah. I am. Like I don't need to jump through a million hoops to please people yeah. to be enough for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that one was snappy. <laughs> yeah. Look at us. Look at we got this I game down. This is okay. a playing a game <laughs> gays <laughs> i'm so i laugh so hard at um because i stalked you a little bit before this um <laughs> at the one saying that you want to look gay oh yeah You're like i want the gays to look at I me and know think i'm gay, gay. <laughs> yeah, like and i know i don't look gay but like and people are like oh my god i would have never known don't worry like you don't look gay at all i'm like i want to look gay you just you just you just gave me an insult right now. Like, I know, I know I don't look gay. Don't rub it in. Like, yeah. I look pretty gay. It's sick. Yeah, <laughs> it's the hair. It is the hair. The Nobody. gender neutral yeah. clothing. Yeah. It does that, has that effect. <clears throat> All right. The hair gives it away though. What? The, the hair. hair gives it away. It's pretty much like gay. gay. And then if you weren't sure, the stance, you know? Yeah, there you go. And just the, like, I feel like the way people carry themselves sometimes too. Oh yeah. Like I don't look gay, but I have gay voice. Gay energy. Yeah. Like I have gay voice, gay energy, gay stance. I yeah. sit very gay because I don't. <laughs> You're the type where like, if I didn't know, like I was meeting you for the first time, knew nothing about you, like just visually looking at you, I wouldn't necessarily think like, oh, she's gay. Yeah. But if I spent some time around you, like having a conversation I still probably wouldn't like assume yeah it would be one of those to where like if you said you were I'd be like ah yeah that makes sense yeah well also yeah. especially when I go out I look gay because mm -hmm. like out I mean like now we can't because yeah. pandemic but um but like in bars or whatever like I I look gay gay back in the days when we could go out I yeah. look oh the good old days I would look even more gay. You you wouldn't think that was possible, but it is. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's funny because like my girlfriend looks gay, like on a daily basis, like gay. But like she sends it up when she goes out, and I'm the other way around. Really? I look like them, but when I go out, I dig it out. Like I <laughs> look so gay. I'll send you yeah. photos. But, like wow. it's I have like like a puffer jacket, like a big like it was like this. It was in the winter, right? So I had like this big like yellow like puffer jacket, and like mm -hmm. I have like my low like sleek bun and like my like my gay boots like really like I look gay as yeah. <laughs> gay boots see I know exactly what you mean when you say oh, that it's funny because like she femmes it up and I'm yeah. like and like in heels and everything and like on a daily basis she like you look at her sneaker collection and you're like I wouldn't even know you owned a pair of heels I haven't femmed it up in a long time <laughs> it's been 84 years <laughs> Okay, there, stop. Ooh, if you were in a band, what would our, if we were in a band, what would our name be? Mm. They lesbianing together. <laughs> <laughs> they lesbianing together. <laughs> two ings, they lesbianing -ing together. <laughs> Together. Lesbian -ling -ling. The lesbian ling the lesbian ling wait, whoa, whoa, they, they lesbianing. The they lesbianing. They lesbianing. They lesbian ning ing. Lesbian ing. Lesbian ing. Lesbian. Lesbian. Ing. Ing. Lesbian ing. Together. Together. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. I'll play the um the triangle. Oh yes. I'll yeah. play the drums. Okay. Actually, I played the saxophone alto, so maybe I should play the saxophone. Yeah. <clears throat> I started playing the saxophone because I thought it was a sexy instrument. It is. <laughs> Honestly, like know. most instruments are. It's like, oh, you play an instrument. Yeah. You're musical, I see. All right, all right, all right. How would you describe me to a stranger? Ooh, okay. <gasps> yeah. So we have, both have to answer this, eh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, do you want to go first? 
Okay. So stranger, like, oh, there's this person named Genevieve. She's on the social. Okay, no. That's <laughs> Um, I would, I would probably describe you as very, um, very artistic. I would definitely say she's a filmmaker, very artistic, aesthetic, um, type of content. She also tells things how they are very to the point, very concentrated eye contact. (laughs) I would say quirky for you. Okay. Okay. Stranger. Stranger. Hey, stranger stranger um so Haley is a tiktoker um and an instagram reelser <laughs> and a lesbianing her it's lesbianing um she makes comedy skits that are very relatable um and yeah like funny um looks like a lesbian <laughs> um also oh my god this is my ADHD um I fucking Ruby Rose messaged you that's insane oh my gosh I lost my mind when that happened I would have died did she follow you no she just said she's like you're bloody hilarious did you answer no I left her on red and kept her in my oh. general <laughs> Ruby Rose on red left her on red you know no I answered I I think I just said like thank you that means a lot coming from you kind of thing yeah you should have like shot your shot I'm not gonna do that that's good (laughs) but Ruby Rose Ruby Rose yeah but it was hilarious because literally like once it like processed in my brain that this was actually Ruby Rose I like shot up from the couch I went into the kitchen grabbed the first person I found who was my brother I was like, do you know who Ruby Rose is? And he's like, no. I'm like, oh, no. Mm. I'm like, well, she, you know, is basically a lesbian icon, you know, yeah. Orange is New Black, that whole thing. And, and she, she DM'd me and I'm freaking out. And he's like, okay, I don't know who she is. I'm like, God. So I go deeper into the house. I find my mom. I'm like, do you know who Ruby Rose is? She's like, no. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is like not. So yeah, then I, I was like, I know my sister knows who Ruby Rose is. So I text her and she, she appreciated it. But okay, um, yeah, thank God. Okay. Next one. All right. Pick a card, any card. That one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you think I intimidate others? Why or why not? No. I don't think you intimidate others. I think you look like a little baby. <laughs> I laughed. I was like, yeah, I'm so intimidating. <laughs> okay. So I answered this about you. Um, no, I don't think you're intimidating. Like you have a very, like, you seem very, like, if you look at your content, you seem very open-minded, friendly, very supportive of baby gays in particular. So no, I don't think you're intimidating. Cool. All right. <laughs> Oh, wild card. Wild card. Okay, I mean, this one's not too bad. Okay. Uh, make an assumption about me, both players. So we both answer this. That's okay. what we're doing. Yeah. We're back to that 30 second eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure you out. <laughs> I'm trying to think too. Because like, how deep are we going? Right. I guess it could be like literally anything. Okay. Hmm. Are you going to get offended? No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make an assumption that you're an introvert. Interesting. Damn. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm like both. Mm. So like, I like being alone. I need my alone time. I like being alone more than I like being with people. Um, And I'm like very like, I like being with my thoughts and whatever. Um, But then when I go out, I'm the life of the party. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I talk Everyone. like I'm not shy like I'm able to talk with literally anyone no matter like your stature or like whatever I don't care like you know what I mean like it's um I I'm outgoing like I I, I like to speak I like to whatever but then I need to be alone um and then also sometimes I'm super anxious when it comes to public speaking oh yeah same mm-hmm. same same 
oh yeah especially like now on zoom when like everyone can shut their cameras off i'm like <laughs> yeah right. yeah they're on mute you can't oh, see yeah. them and you're just like hello everyone like you have like no energy to like work yeah. off you know exactly like i'm i'm better at like live presentation than like zoom presentations i hate zoom presentations with a yeah. i probably would prefer the zoom even still yeah but i could see how it's weird like not getting like that feedback you know oh i hate it but <laughs> yeah um okay for me i assume well okay you said something like i was gonna say some something like too far <laughs> wait hold on, hold on. okay now i have to know <laughs> wrong with this absolutely if anything it's a good thing because it balances things out you know okay and also it's an assumption so like it could just be completely wrong <laughs> or completely right <laughs> i was gonna say um because this is we're, we're gay right like that's the first thing that came to my mind i assume that you're a bottom oh <laughs> no i'm i'm very much a switch so i guess love it both no yeah i mean same i used to i don't know you know back in my baby gay days i didn't yeah. know that there were like different i didn't know that there were like bottoms and tops yeah. and all these things i thought everyone was a switch yeah it yeah. wasn't until like later i was like oh wow there's like a whole spectrum yeah. so it's funny because like i'm very much like a dominant switch mm -hmm. and like my girlfriend used to call herself a submissive top which like but like she's a switch for sure but like it just like works perfect yeah like because you know dominant switch and then like submissive top but like switch actually you know what i mean so it, it's right. like perfect perfect did you go or do i go i think you go okay i go i mean at this point we're both answering I, I know, right? I don't think it really matters at this point. I don't even know if this is the right way to play this. I don't even know either, but it's fun. But here we go. What do you think is the hardest part of what I do for a living? We both kind of do the same thing. I know, right? But I'm also a student. That's true. Yeah, I guess I do um, <clears throat> the content creation, as you know, but <clears throat> I also do online marketing Ooh. for various companies, which it kind of related you know, yeah. mostly just social media, just for other brands as well. I think the hardest part for you would be to find a balance with like real life mm. and like online life. Because I know that for me, for example, like I'm always on my phone, like, and I don't have necessarily a set schedule, but I, I, I like, you know, like I'm, wor I, I'm not working a nine to five, you know what I mean? And so like, for someone that is working a nine to five, it would be weird, like, because like during the weekends, for example, I need to answer emails, I need to this, I need to that, and, like my agent will contact me and whatever, like I don't have a set schedule. Um, and I feel like for you would be the same because, you know, like finding balance in like real life and online life. Right, that's, that's very true because like everything's online now, especially like with what we do, it's all online, so it's like, you sometimes get sucked into that world and you're like, hold on, I need to unplug for a second, go on a hike, cleanse. Yeah. Yeah. Finding <laughs> that time to cleanse out, very important. All right. Hardest thing for you. Um, I would say, I mean, I think this is true with a lot of content creators, including possibly you. Um I would say just just keeping up with that constant demand of content because it's like you know you know how it is like you post a video you know that took you however long and then it's like instantly you need another one you know so just like keeping up with that constant demand because it never really ends it's know? almost um like very pressureful and stressful yes because you're like it's no it's never ending you you never have a break yeah it's like you can even like i'll have times where you know the creative juices are flowing and I'll even film like a few videos in a day. Yeah. But boom, 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 they're gone so fast. And it's like, yeah. oh, you need more. It's like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> so oh, literally, that's so true. Yeah. And like, especially with TikTok, like I took a little bit of a break of TikTok. Mm. Uh, because like last semester I was I had five classes. I was a full-time student. Like it was super insane. Um and I was trying to grow Instagram as well. 
Um, and uh, yeah, like I had to take a break, but when you take a break, like the algorithm is all like, uh, and sometimes like queer content creators will get like shadow banned because it's subject to debate, like queerness is subject to debate and like, you know, they can't get pushed into all the countries and whatever. Um, and so like, that's also frustrating because you're like, why, why, like, why is this subject to debate? Um, and then there's like, just a whole bunch of things. I was getting kind of frustrated with TikTok, whereas like Instagram was doing better. And so like, I kind of put more effort on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, but like, and even now, like when I think of a TikTok idea, I think about it, like then posting it to Reels. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it, there has been a shift. Like before I would be like, okay, I'm going to go film a TikTok. And I, for the most part, will post the same videos on TikTok and Reels. Yeah. But like now I'm starting, even in my own head, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to go film a reel. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking of like Instagram first now. I do the exact same. Um, yeah. Also like Instagram as a whole for me is a platform that I prefer. I used to prefer TikTok. Like this summer when I was really into it, like I, I was posting like six TikToks a day. Like I was really, really like pumping out the content. And I was like, that it was like almost like a coping mechanism. Cause you know, like during like quarantine like I had nothing to do I was just like whatever and so I was just like posting 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 every day I would wake up film six TikToks the next day wake up film six TikToks edit six TikToks and post them like I was like pumping out the content yeah um, but then at one point there's only so many ways that I can tell people I'm a lesbian mm. you know and you don't like so and you don't have like all of the um you know creative juices flowing anymore and you're kind of like what am I gonna do now like I don't I have so many stories or whatever um and so yeah I was almost like in a and also like I broke up with my girlfriend my cat died I had to move global pandemic like it was this like huge thing and so um and then I started school which like took over my life again um and so yeah and then those four months flew by and I like posted like a, a, like 30 TikToks in those four months, you know, like that's it, which is not a lot. Um, and yeah, but um, now I'm like starting to get back into it. I cut down on my classes too, because I, I realistically, I was like, I'm not like in a rush to finish school. Like I was always like the perfect student, like never took out classes in college, never did like anything. And like, um, I did everything by the book and I got into my dream um, university and like blah, blah, blah. Um, but I'm not in a rush. And so I was like, for some reason, life has decided to bless me with a platform. I don't know why, um, but it has, and I'm just gonna ride that wave until like it goes. And if it does, if it, like, if it does get like grow into something bigger, great. And if it doesn't and it dies off eventually, well, okay, like I'll fall back on film. Like there was something about me that was like, my filmmaker mind was like, oh, why are you um, like patty down to TikTok? Because like, there's a lot of judgment in the like filmmakers community. Cause mm. like, um it's very elitist um and it's kind of like oh yeah that girl that makes tiktoks like mm, such a filmmaker but like i don't think things on your phone yeah. <laughs> um, and like there's no like creativeness but that but that that's not true like and it's just a different use of it and i think that like it's important for me to like kind of be like don't care with uh, what what like your classmates and what your like colleagues are saying like you're doing you right now you'll always have film to fall back on if you take 10 years off take 10 years off and come back like I don't think that it makes me any less of a filmmaker plus I am working on films on the side I'm just working not as intensely as my like classmates that are working on like four films right now I'm working on one you know what I mean like it's I'm still working in the film industry but I'm just right. like allowing less of my time for it because like I've found another path that is going good and yeah. yeah yeah and like even you know if they think it's not real filmmaking it's still like well you can have other interests yeah. beyond film you know right. what I mean like TikTok is just another interest you know yeah. that you're into and, and trying to build and, and whatnot and building an online community can certainly help you potentially with networking in yeah. your in your industry so like especially when it comes to directing um like I have experience with acting and mm -hmm. like you also kind of need somewhat of a platform like you don't need somewhat of a platform but it helps it helps um and so like I'm just doing it differently 
Like when it comes to, let's say financing, if you do crowdfunding already, you have people supporting you. Like, right. if you, like, like, you know what I mean? Like it's finding investors, finding whatever, like I can post a story and it just like, it, it helps, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. And so, yeah, it's, um, and like, I'm going to do like a, my minor in business as well. Um, and so that's also going to help right. my turn to pick a car. Or- I could do it like all night. (laughs) I can stop. You always go for like the middle. Oh yeah. The middle. Let's do it. (laughs) Do you think plants thrive or die in my care? Explain. In my care and your care. I guess we're answering these about each other. So like you would make an assumption about my, about my plants. I have a feeling you'd let plants die. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> I don't know. You, you look like clumsy a little bit. True. That's very true. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the best plant parent. I'll, I'll admit you got that right. And yeah. I see the plant behind you and I've seen like plants right. featured on your, um, your feed. So I'm going to assume they thrive. Oh okay. yes, I am a plant mother. Actually, this one was dying in my girlfriend's care, and I showered it, I repotted it, I cut off the dead pieces. Yeah. Well, uh, because of me. <laughs> um. Yeah. Do you do you name your plants? Of course. What's that little well, this is my, guy's this name? My girlfriend's plant. Um. But I would call it Moogly. Mo- Moogly. 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 Yeah. Moogly the plant. It looks like a moogly. <laughs> Spiky yeah. hair. Yeah. I wonder what hair products moogly uses. Yeah, eh? We, that, that volume. Moogly. Hey. <laughs> it's <laughs> me, uh, the new vegan line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I believe it's my turn. Yeah. What's your mother's name and the most beautiful thing about her? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, my mother's name is Laura. 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 Yes. Laura. Most beautiful thing about her. I would say um, her unconditional love for her family. Like she's really rock solid. Like I know, like I could come to her with like anything and tell her like what's going on and she would never judge me. Like even when we were like hardcore Mormon, she found out I was gay and she never made me feel bad about that. Oh. Like she <clears throat> didn't question me. She started to question the church, Oh, you know? So she was definitely had my back on that one. Um, so yeah, I think that that is one of the most beautiful things about my mom. Oh, her name is Laura, you said, eh? Laura, yeah. Well, you know her zodiac sign? I think she, mm, I think she's birthday. a horse. Wait, no, she was born May 16th. Okay, yeah, Taurus. Taurus. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, my mother's name is Marie-Josée. Oh, okay, well, wow, that's beautiful. Uh, in English, I guess, Mary Jose. Mary Jose. Um, and uh, the best thing about her is that, well, I'm an only child, mm. um, and she was a single mother. And um, she put everything aside for me, like her entire life. She was a painter, um, she was like an artist. And like she, when I was born, like she just like did everything in order for me to have a good life. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I don't know where you get your, your artistic side from. Yeah. Me yeah. And mom, I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And she just like got um, a job for the federal government, like worked a nine to five, like unfulfilling job, mm. but like pays good and like raised me, um, made sure I would go to like camps and like after school activities and like would sign me up for everything and like um, put money away for me for like college and like, you know, like really did like above and beyond. She just like wanted me to have what she couldn't have because she was kicked out of the house when she was 15 Mm. so like she couldn't like do like she didn't go to university she didn't go and like that's something she really wanted to do um and so she just really like wanted me to be able to have a really fulfilled life 
And like, she really did that. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. My, I love my mother. Man, love that. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So I just went, right? I think so. I need to keep better track of this. <laughs> I'm a terrible gay, gay night host. Yeah. Okay. That one. This one. Okay. If you could have it your way, who would you be with? Where would you be? And what would you be doing? Ooh, okay. Um, okay. Well, three part question. I would be with my newly girlfriend. Yep. <laughs> um, on a beach in Hawaii. Uh, I would be doing yoga and she would be surfing. Oh, that's a good answer. Yeah, she's a surf instructor, so. Wow. Yeah, because she's from Israel. Okay. Yeah, I've always wanted to surf. Never done it. Yeah. All right. Who, where, and what? Who would I be with? Who would I be with? Um, I guess if I'm traveling with my sister, we're really good travel companions. And where would I be? Probably Sydney, Australia. Been dying to go. What would we be doing? We'd be on the beach. Yeah. Just chillaxing. We're both on the beach. Yeah. Well, that's the place to be, really. Yeah. Especially right now when things are so cold and... I know. It's so disgusting. Yeah. It's like, give us warmth. No, literally. the ocean. (laughs) I want to be by the beach. (laughs) Right. I just want to be tan. Tan? (laughs) Do you tan or do you burn? I tan. I've never had a sunburn. Yeah. I usually tan. I burn if I'm like, if I overdo it, I can yeah. definitely burn. Like, but I've never had like a, those really insane sunburn that I see like online. I've definitely like felt sore. A yeah. Lot. But like a sunburn, never. It's my turn. What do you think my defining characteristic is? Quirky. <laughs> it all comes back to quirky oh, every yeah. time. No, you are. Like you're the every definite. Time. You. All right, yours. Um, I would say creative, Ooh. very creative person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. like even just like your background, it's very like you can tell someone creative lives there. Well, this is my girlfriend's place, but oh well, it looks like you could live there. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're both creative. Yeah, we both are. She's a photographer, a film photographer. Yeah, she shoots exclusively on film. That's cool. Though. She has like. I, I would turn my laptop right now, but it's holding my light up. Um, but like she has like a million film. Actually, I'll show you one because one is my favorite. It's so pretty. Hold on. Ooh, that's pretty. And like, wow. and then you, I don't know if you can see, then you push this out and this is how you take it. That is so cool. Right? That is really neat. So pretty. So it, I'm assuming it'd be harder to film uh, off of that, right? Or it, well, it's a it's um it's a it's a photo camera. Okay. This is a Super Eight camera. Hold on. So this would be film. Hold on. Okay. That's cool. Right? It looks like <laughs> it looks like one of those radar guns the police have. Yeah, and then this is an eight mil camera. So like the one I just showed is a Super Eight. This mm-hmm. one is eight. So this one would be harder. Okay. Because like it's it's more complex and whatever. But like you shoot like this and then can you hear it? I can't. That is really neat. So it's like the this is the button right here. I feel like we're time traveling right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, isn't it so cool? It and is. she's so she's so funny when she talks about like film because you can tell that she's like really passionate about it. Right. Um, oh yeah like such a dork like such a dork but it's really cute let's see give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> <laughs> hold on now okay that one. Oh, okay oh fixing it up unpredictable you are <laughs> <laughs> okay this would take too long this okay. one is to draw a portrait of each other oh i could do it i don't have oh, you okay you do it i don't have pen or paper you can go get pen and paper. You had that on hand. Oh, I was I'm like, ripped. hold up. Let me see. Uh-huh. Let me get your proportions right. My proportions. Yeah, 
portion. Okay, don't move. <laughs> Let me get your hair swoop. Get your forehead here. Forehead, foreheads are good to have. <laughs> I lost my. Was there a, a bee? It's like <laughs> no, I lost my pen. Deteriorating. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's not my best work, okay? Oh my god, I'm literally crying. Okay, hold on. I'm almost done. Huh? Well, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is my head that circular? <laughs> 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 Huh. Let me send it to you right now. Uh, please do. do. <laughs> I think this is a new profile picture. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, my name is Haley. I'm crying. Holding on to that forever. Is it breaker? All right, yes. Let's see. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> what part of your life works? What part of your life hurts? Oh, so I guess Ooh. like doesn't work. <laughs> okay, what part of my life works? Right now, my career. Hmm. Um, what part of it doesn't? My mental health. <laughs> <laughs> it laughs. <laughs> it's like a laugh to a cry. <laughs> Literally. Um, <laughs> Like, I only laugh because I can relate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like I have a similar <clears throat> answer. I, you know, fortunately, I'm very grateful to to be employed during these times. Um, so I think that's working out. But um, but yeah, I think what isn't working is kind of true for a lot of people right now. Just feeling a little bit isolated, <laughs> you know, not being able to go out and do the the usual thing. I used yeah. to go to concerts all the time here yeah. in Nashville and yeah. haven't been able to do that. So that kind of sucks. But yeah. but again, all in perspective, super grateful. But yeah. yeah, just those little things sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, true. Oh, I'm <clears throat> going to concerts. Yeah. Uh, I forget I, about them sometimes. I'm like, oh yeah. I know. Like I, to do. I never thought I would miss like a stranger grinding on me, but like I <laughs> That sounds like it's but like please come back <laughs> yeah yeah mm -hmm. oh my goodness yeah and like those socially distanced concerts I'm like that doesn't even sound fun mm -hmm. like, that just sounds hmm. <coughs> <laughs> it sounds just like that just like, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> but you can't cough when you go out you, you have to <laughs> oh God, you like... <coughs> yeah I totally agree like Concerts and like crowds. You can yeah. get in, you can come out. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Um, oh my God, I know like crowds and like concerts. Ugh, it's just like one of those things, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your turn. Oh, okay, my turn. <laughs> you can be loud. Karen! 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 Wait, does Karen want to draw a card? Karen, come draw a card. What? It's been Karen's turn. Yeah, you're going to draw a card. Okay, come on. Yeah. She just finished work. Hello. Okay. Hi. Hey. Okay. All draw. right. Nice to meet you. Now draw a card. <laughs> okay. Stop. 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 <laughs> All right. What is the last thing you lied to your mother about? <laughs> you. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> yeah, that was probably the quickest answer. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she just arrived with like a million like of my favorite chocolate bars. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> I know, no, no. Like that was my genuine reaction. Like I'm yeah. obsessed with food. <laughs> like, food is my wow. life. I love food so much. Yeah. Oh. Is it not a regular occurrence? Like, do people not get this excited about food? Not excited as you. <laughs> <laughs> bubble tea. That's a lot of bubbles. What? They were messing around. They really loaded up the bubbles oh, in that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The final card. The final card. The final card. What's going on? Okay. Now. All right. Final card. What do you think I fear the most? Mm, I think you fear failure. Failure. Yes. Indeed. Because mm-hmm. you're very, very like, and like you're good and you're like pushing out content and this and that. But like, I think that deep down you're like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> That's accurate. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I'm like, just Your moon is an airy. <laughs> wing it. I mean, I would say we're pretty similar on this because we're both list people. We're both planners and all of that. So it's like, you know, I feel like when both of us, like when we don't, <clears throat> aren't able to cross everything off, like I feel like that affects us. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I think we're both similar on that failure. Yeah. You're so right. But anyways, I'll leave yeah. you to your, your bubble tea. <laughs> And your chocolate oh. and your puppy and your <laughs> yes. yes I didn't bring a puppy I'm not oh. that good. <laughs> next time a kitten would work yeah. too either a one fox a what fox. no <laughs> yeah yeah there we go a fox a fox a let's fox. bring a fox <laughs> okay I'll work on it <laughs> nice to meet you Karen nice to meet you too <laughs> okay With all the the with TikTok stuff, TikTok stuff, TikTok stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Post that super beautiful self-portrait. Oh, <laughs> oh, I will, and I will tag you so people know yeah. who the artist was behind that masterpiece. Yeah. <laughs> they need to know. Need like if you're looking, know. if you're looking for a uh, self-portrait, uh, hit up Miss Nick. She's. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking commissions. She um, charges um yeah. ten thousand. Her portrait. Her portrait. Just the head. If you want full body, it's going to be a little bit more. And like um, the original lines are still there, crossed yes. on your. <laughs> <laughs> it's there's a deeper meaning behind it. It's like, like yeah. it's more about the process. That's the it meaning. Is. Like you get like, to see behind the, the lines that started it all. You know, behind the lines. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Exactly. I love it. All right. Okay. New side side okay. gig. <laughs> yes. A side right. hustle. There you go. Okay. Exactly. Bye-bye. Right. Bye bye. Bye.